there is an advantage to being a college football coach with NFL coaching experience. New South Carolina defensive line coach John Scott Jr. Spent two seasons with the New York Jets as an assistant coach. Three seasons removed from the NFL, it's never not the right time to use those experiences to help mold the minds of his college players. After coaching the likes of pro bowlers Leonard Williams, Mohamed Wilkerson and Sheldon Richardson, Scott Jr. is now coaching a group of Gamecock defensive linemen, particularly interior players like Javon Kinlaw, Kobe Smith, Rick Sandage, Jabari Ellis and Zach Pickens. Whether it's in the meeting room with those players or on recruiting visits, ears perk up when NFL examples are voiced or shown via projector. Most of them sitting in that room all have aspirations of being able to go play, Scott Jr. said. Anytime I'm able to draw experiences from that or I always like to pull up tape and show we're running the same type of scheme, same type of stunt and let them see how the pros do it. I think there is some excitement to that. Anytime I can use those experiences to help get my point across and help them see the total picture I'll use that, over the last decade Scott Jr. has been on college staffs at Western Carolina, Missouri State, Georgia Southern, Texas Tech, Arkansas and is now a few months into his time back home in South Carolina. In terms of learning the game, all of those jobs pale in comparison to his time spent at the next level. I really enjoyed my time up there, Scott Jr. said. My two years in the NFL I probably learned more football than I have ever learned, just because of the amount of time they have to study and really dive into what's going on. You don't have that time in college because you have other aspects to deal with. I was able to gain that knowledge and coach those guys, Scott Jr. Pleased with Return Home, a look at who he has coached recently, watch Gamecocks DL coach meets with media he was also able to learn firsthand that it's not as hard as it may seem when coaching the best of the best. As a coach going and you always hear those stories and rumors about how you can't talk to this guy this way, can't do this and can't do that. I think the biggest thing for me going up there was adapting on how to coach a super talented player that can do anything you want him to do and getting him to buy in and be coachable, Scott Jr. said. One of the myths is those guys aren't coachable. I'd say 98% of them are very coachable because they want to be successful and want to stay on that level. Then you have your extreme cases that we all see are on Sports Enter every night doing this and that. For the most part they are all great guys, all want to be coached and I was able to take that way, being able to coach the top level athlete, about to coach his third straight season with a defensive line in the SEC, he smiled when complimenting the type of football players he is now, mainly because a group of them could one day be playing for the Jets or the 31 other teams at the game's highest level. I'm pretty excited about what we have, Scott Jr. said. In this league you better have some depth. I say it all the time, it's the AFC, the NFC and the SEC.